experiencing bad frame drops and unstable FPS in the new Fortnite season? Well, in this video, I will show you how to get potato graphics. I went from 60 to 80 FPS to 200 plus FPS with the potato oh graphics. This will boost your performance by at least 50 plus FPS. Without wasting no time, let's get into the video. But first, subscribe and drop a like on this video and let's get into it. So firstly, you want to open Chrome and type NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Press Enter and it is usually the first link which will be GitHub. This link will be down in the description. Now you will be on this page. You want to click on the zip file so you can download NVIDIA. Now you want to open the file location. Once you've found the folder, right-click and extract it. Your file should be where you extracted it. Click on the file and open Video Profile Inspector. This screen should pop up. Now you want to go to the top left and type Fortnite. Click Fortnite or press Enter. My settings are already on Potato Graphics, but for the sake of the video, I will reset my settings and walk you guys through. This is how you restore your settings back to normal in case you don't like Potato Graphics. Follow what I do and press apply. This will reset your setting back to normal. But on to the main point of this video why you guys are all here. Okay, so now to get potato settings. Go to the third section anti-licing. And just copy what I do. Make sure you select the one I did. And now go down to texture filtering for. Once again copy what I do. And now for the potato settings. There are three settings which go from low to very low and ultra low. Low is what I use which is plus 0.5 plus 0.5. Second setting is very low which is showing on screen now. And the final setting is ultra low which is intense potato graphics. I'm just doing 0, 5 because it doesn't really affect your game that much. The bigger the numbers are the higher FPS boost you will get. But you will have to sacrifice your game quality. And that's why it's called potato graphics. Once you're done selecting what setting you want to use, you want to go texture filtering quality and change it to high. But if you're using ultra low, just leave it. Now click apply changes and load into Fortnite. Yay, that's really it for this video. Drop a like and subscribe and comment down any issues. Get this video to 50 likes and yay goodbye.